so how did you get to Sun? Um, when I, you know, so when I, when I was in grad school, um, cause I was kind of the Unix guy, um, and I, I, when I graduated for some reason that I really doesn't make any sense to me anymore, um, I joined IBM to, to work on a project that, um, that was that was fairly interesting, and um, IBM wanted to build these machines that were sort of workstations, and um, you know a bunch of the folks at Yorktown Heights Research Labs had this grand vision. I thought, oh, this would be really cool. And at about that time, I because um, I because I had gotten to know like Bill and Andy because um, Andy had actually been at CMU for a while, mm. and. Um, I, I, you know, as a grad student, one of one of my tasks at one point was to to help fabricate some boards that Andy had designed. Um, so I got to got to know Andy's design style, which was kind of adventurous. Um, <laughs> well, he always wanted to put like more stuff on a board than you actually could, so you, you know, the you would have to like file the ends off of chips. To get them to fit, or <laughs> you to do this like double stack thing where you put one chip on top of another chip and you you splay the legs out to, in order to oh, stuff it to the board. Um, always really, always really pretty entertaining. But um, now I when when um, Andy um, got together with with Scott and Vinod to to found Sun, um, I actually by pure coincidence was having lunch with Andy on on the day that he signed the papers and um he was like twisting my arm to to join Sun and 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 you know trying to get me to um to to join on and help them out and I'm like but you're using like the Motorola 68000 chip and that thing has got <laughs> and you know these uh, this 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 IBM group has got a really cool chip that they're using for their main processor, you know, you're just going to die. And um, was it power? I, was it the power PA risk power PC at that point? Or it, what? It was, no, it was it was the predecessor of that. It was a thing called the romp. The romp. And and what I what I really hadn't um, understood was IBM's incredible capacity mm. for shooting itself in mm. the foot. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, if if IBM merely shot itself in the foot, that would be fine. <laughs> that, that might be survivable. But um, you know, so so like a year and a half later, um, uh, you know, after, after Bill Joy kept like dragging me, um, uh, you know, I eventually joined Sun and uh, and. Uh, moved out to the Bay Area and have been here ever since. Quite legendary, of course. And Sun stood for the, was it Stanford University Network, right? Because they were all Stanford. Well, it, well, it started out as as Andy's, um, I think, master's thesis project. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was done, the, the original board was done at Stanford by Andy. So it really was the Stanford University Network. Oh, interesting. Um I'm sure they reap and some then, reward for that over time. Well, sure, you know. So, 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 so Stanford did 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 quite well, right? When you know this 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 board and the stuff that Andy had built um, worked out well. Um, some some VCs uh, got um, Scott and Vinod to um, come together with, with with Andy to try to turn that into a, a company, and you know, so they had some arrangement with with Stanford to to get the I, IP rights and I know that you know Stanford you know did pretty well by them I'm sure as they did by uh, Google and others it's hey if you yeah. you know if you incubate great companies like that more power to you Bill yeah. Joy on the other he was from Cal right he was he had done BSD yeah, he was, at Cal he was from Berkeley yeah so he was a Unix guy yeah and um, and I I, I gather that the strength of Sun was that you were able to make these 68,000 base computers running Unix uh, and yeah, high quality yeah, worked, graphics. Worked really well. And, and I mean, the, 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 the 68,000 in the very first 
days of, 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 of sun. They were a real problem. Um, but then once the 68010 came out, uh, things got a whole lot better. And then the 68020 was just a dream machine. Um, we did a lot with the 68020. Mm. A fl and a nice flat memory model, model, as I remember. Yeah. Yeah. The, the 68010 was was challenging. It didn't really have an MMU, or the 68000 didn't really have an MMU. The 6810 came in with a, a kind of okay MMU, and, and then, the, then the 20 came in, and it was just delightful. A real multiplier. Wow. Who knew? Who knew? 